You used to be a big guy in the heavyweight division, and then you became a small guy, as, as all the giants feared. Do you think that that size and power is the difference between what happened in the last Lesnar fight and the first Lesnar fight? Um, I believe so. I do think that the, the difference in power, it wasn't that Lesnar wasn't powerful in both of those fights, and it wasn't that I wasn't technical. It was just that he made... It increases in his technical abilities, and I didn't make an increase in my size and power. So uh, that was the difference in the fight. Uh, I think in the future, I have to be, you know, he has to cut weight to make 265, and if I cut down to 265, fight night will both be pretty comparable to the same size. And if I'm leaner and more powerful, then he gives up a huge advantage. I might not be stronger than him, but if I'm close enough to where I can stalemate his strength and nullify to what's not a factor, he's never going to catch up with me with technique and hands and explosion. You know, I just have had too many years of martial arts that way. So that's why I really look to make a difference in the third fight. Do you think that, that all things being equal, that size and athleticism make more of a difference than in, in the early yeah. days? You know, the little guy could beat the big guy I with technique. It like this. It's like legs on a chair. Left leg is strength and power, right leg is, uh, is speed and agility, the back leg is technique, the other leg is uh, uh, experience. Take one of the legs away and how well does the chair stand up? It falls apart. It's all compromised in and it's on a fight by fight basis on two different guys. Two different guys with drastic difference in technique, but one of the guys has comparable strength and speed, well and the strength cancels each other out, technique takes over. A guy can have no technique and, and no power over a guy, but he's so fast, the other guy can never catch him and, and put his size on him because he's more of a technical grappler. It, it's too many different things going into a fight. That's when you get the old styles, make matchups. That's an expression that came before we truly understood and broke fighting down to such details we do now. Now we can break it down and look at the different factors and how they're going to attribute to each other's uh, success.